<laughs> and you and you didn't want want it to look like really dumb, of course. So it should look more movie like, and so you see people see it's serious. What I really enjoyed about the video and what I was really surprised with were the fans, the actual fans who got there. We invited fans. Uh, I don't know if we did that in the past. Actually, I'm not so sure. And then I forgot, which is cruel of me. But <laughs> for this video, we invited fans via the fan club. Awesome. Our fans. Awesome. And they got there, and they were standing there. And first, there was a little problem because they didn't get beers. They were hungry, <laughs> so we needed to get them some sausages yeah. and stuff. Uh, so, so first, it, it wasn't so great. But then, you know, when everything was there, you know, they felt good. And they were doing the uh, performance and the recording of the video with us. So they were shot uh, separately in a crowd. And then uh, some interesting characters were picked for the video that they found online yeah. from a casting agency. And then they put those people in between the real fans. And I tell you what, I was, I was quite uh, doubtful about the outcome of these yeah. recordings. Yeah? But then when I saw the fans go oh, with like yeah. the loud music, we had loud yeah. monitors and they played that song and they were really like, Whoa. it was all real. Yeah. And I've been standing there and I've been so proud of our fans, you know, really. Cool. And it's also, it's not, it's not like you just shoot like for 10 minutes and that, that's it. So they had to stay there for a couple of hours and of course it was cold and it was actually winter in Germany. So um, this was was pretty amazing that they were staying and giving all their 100% performance whenever the tape were running, you know. Do you, you know already which one is going to be the next single for the album? I have no idea. You have no idea. So Actually, there's so many good tracks on yeah, there. I, totally I couldn't agree. put the finger on one and say that should be the next single. Well, usually, you know, we, we, we rarely did second singles. Okay. Yeah, and then it's always a matter of the organization of the record company. We don't know what Sony Record now will be up to with that, if they will release a second single or if they are out to promote yet another album afterwards. I don't know. It's just that there was, with the record companies before, usually there, there were less resources so that it was all put on one single and then if the single didn't work out so good or did, They, they didn't even do a second one, so that's the way But it it's works. working out really well. Yeah, right it is. <laughs> right now we're also on tour to promote the album, so um, probably we're more or less in a couple of months we're talking more about the next record, so um, yeah, no, now we are on tour and that's what we are concentrating on. Cool. Um, now, talking about, uh, I mean, Halloween has been doing music for more than 25 years, uh, what could it be the key for consistency? to still doing music after so many years. You're asking me or him? No, I'm, 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 because, you know, yeah, I know, you're, the, you're since the beginning. It may be interesting to have his point of view later on because he's been working in music before. Yeah. Yeah? That's what people always neglect. We are doing this since 25 years. He has been doing things apart from Halloween before, which also was hard work. I know. Uh, so his uh, existence doesn't start with its band. And, um, but uh, the main consistency of this probably is because I, wouldn't be able to go uh, into an office and work there because my dad, he took me to his office back then when I was a small boy and I could sort letters and stuff and, and uh, invoices and put them here into that box and put it there into that box and you had to obey the boss and things like that, which is okay for most people, yeah, that's probably why most people have a job like that. But for me, it was more or less impossible. I, I had a look at those things, and I always made fun of it. And he always said, you know, you're never going to be good in a work environment. And I thought, yeah, the, maybe then I won't. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, so there's not so much I can do apart from this. If I had to start like a painter career, I'd have a big concurrence because there's people who can paint a lot better than I can do. So I would have to do something real hard, you know, the, the thing is, I may as well stay in the business I'm in because that's already hard enough. Cool, awesome. Now, if you would ask me, for example, I would just want to admit, um, which is really important to me, if I'm looking to the band's history and um, to your question, I would say it's basically music in the fans that keeps it constantly working, you know, so because we have these fans always, like, I, I remember since I'm in a band touring the, the first tour, Rabbit Don't Come Easy tour, and you meet almost the same people somewhere at some hotel or whatever. So they're, they're, they're constantly there. They're constantly um, buying records. They're constantly going to our shows. And 
uh, we're doing the music, and this all together keeps Halloween alive. That's that's my personal opinion about it. No, and entirely agree. And like you you're saying, I mean, during the history of Halloween, there there has been different lineups. What do you think that this specific lineup? Uh, it's the best thing that they give to Halloween that probably the other lineups didn't give. That's basically the thing. Something with the other lineups was not as good, you know, that, that uh, they would give something to itself. Because maybe uh, the uh, several characters in the lineups were interested in other things. Okay. So, you know, whatever we do in this, I mean, certainly everybody's interested in one's own things. But then it comes to how you cater to, to the project, the band, your existence and your conviction itself. Yeah? So if you wanna if you wanna have it as a thing going by, going like yeah yeah Halloween, I I play in Halloween, but I'd I'd rather be uh, uh, yeah somewhere else, uh, you know, and then you know that's not the right approach. Totally. Agree. It's also been the reason why you know certain lineups had to change. Cool. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you very much. It's an honor to talk with you. Congratulations because Seven Sinners, it's an amazing album. I really like it, and I really rocket with it and and good luck i mean i know that after this you're gonna go to central america and to south america right yeah that's right that's true so there's a lot of people uh watching us right there in different countries what could you say to all of them uh, first of all thank you for watching and thank you for um, buying our music thank you for coming to the shows and thank you for being there for us Well, thank you very much. It's an honor to talk with you. Ya lo vieron, hermanos, grande entre los grandes Halloween, más de 25 años de carrera. Ya nos despedimos, hermanos. Esto fue Sánchez, que hay que le sea leve. Chao.